Welcome to Camp Red Cedar, where individuals of all abilities come together to learn, explore, play, and grow. In this behind the scenes look, you'll see how counselors work together to help campers enjoy a safe, exciting, and fun time at this lush 57 acre camp. Discover what's expected of camp counselors, the challenges, rewards, surprises, and memories. A uh, typical day starts off with they sign in, they get here about 8 o'clock, sign in, and then we do uh, a camp circle where we sing our camp songs. And then we usually go to our first activity, which is usually karate. That, that's a lot of fun. Campers love to do that. Some weeks we'll ride horses and some weeks we don't. Just kind of depends which camp we're doing. We do lots of crafts. The campers love doing crafts. And then we'll play some games in the backfield like soccer, play with the parachute, or wiffle ball. Just getting them engaged in activities. And then we go to lunch and after lunch it's swim time for two hours. And then bring them in and change them and they're on their way home. Uh, during training, we learned uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of paperwork in that, and um, we learned the CPR and the first aid. And that seemed like it was that was very beneficial. There was a lot of other things we learned about how to like deal with conflicts, how to take one of the clients out of a situation that he was escalating, and how to get him to calm down and stuff like that. There was uh, some other things we did to get to work together better as a team icebreakers so we got to know the counselors. The first two weeks of training um, was a lot of information. We learned a lot of medical information uh, such as CPR, first aid, uh, water safety or certification um, and it, it definitely helped a lot. It couldn't, there's no way to ever train for the everyday um, every day at camp because you just don't know until you meet your camper. You don't know if they're going to like music or if they're going to like complete silence. You don't know if they take their meds a certain way with a certain drink. Like it's just Monday is always the learning curve day. Um, but I, after the first two weeks of training, I came home and I told my family that I could definitely save their life in every situation and then call 911. Changing was a new thing. I mean, I've I've changed uh, briefs before at home. My mom runs a daycare and I've done that before, but I wasn't ready for it right away. I wasn't ready for the, the accidents and stuff like that, but after two days of that, you're used to it. You're ready to go. You're ready to tackle anything. Something that was unexpected was dealing with the medicine. We, I know we got trained on it, but I remember the first time I had like a, a feeding tube that it, it scared me definitely at first, but just like with all the other things that you're unexpected, you get used to it, you learn how to do it, and you get better at it. The more you practice, the better you get at it. I was surprised about the amount of stuff that we were going to learn. I came into camp thinking, um, oh, I'll just be a camp counselor, you know, I'll get to play some kickball, I'll get to hang out, with, do arts and crafts, and I had no idea how much responsibility we had, like how much like medical things we had to deal with and how creative we had to be. Because <laughs> if your camper doesn't want to do the activity, it's like, okay, how can I get them to do it but in a more fun way for them? So I was definitely surprised about, I, I guess the overall picture. It was not what I pictured at all. Uh, the most challenging part would be, you know, like sometimes the campers will have like behaviors and you can't take it personally. Like they're not meaning to like hurt you or like hurt your feelings or something. Sometimes they're just stressed out and you're stressed out. So I think that's the biggest thing I had to get, get over is like kind of standing up for myself and not being like offended when something happens. And then, I mean, just like the daily struggles you go through, the challenges of just like the needs of the camper sometimes can be a little bit stressful, like changing or I know I had one camper that was in a wheelchair and she needed a lot of help. And so. That was hard, just doing everything for her and still trying to get her engaged in activities at camp. I would say 
the best thing about being a counselor is the friendships you form, both with campers and with counselors. The campers, there's nothing like the feeling you get when a camper comes in in the morning and runs at you and is like, Kitty! Or, you know, shouts your name and gives you a big hug. Or they're, they just, like, they're by your side the entire day. Sometimes it can get a little much, but most of the time it's like, all right, I made a friend. And then there's also, with the counselors, you go through so much throughout the summer together with um, like the good days and then there's bad days and you help each other out. You really form a really tight team bond. Uh, the best thing about being a camp counselor here is coming in here every day and no matter how, how bad of a morning you had, you're gonna come here and you're gonna smile right away. The campers, there's no way you can be around these campers and, and not love what you're doing. The, the benefits from just working with them for one day and the, the stories you get to go home and tell your parents about, about seeing this, one of the campers did this today that he's never done before. We got one of our campers in the water today that's never swam before and just seeing that, their expression on their face definitely is the best. My camper was one of the harder ones, I'll say, but I remember the first day when he came in and his, I talked to his parents and they are like, we were talking about swimming time and they are like, he hardly, ever, I don't know if he's ever really been in the water. She's like, it, it's a challenge just to get him down to the beach. And I looked at that as a challenge. So the first day, definitely got him in a water wheelchair and we got him in the water and he loved it. It took a while to get him in there, but just to see the smile on his face. And then another memory I have, this one I'll never forget, I've told a lot of people about this. Uh, we do hay rides at night and one of the campers, we have like, a, there's like three steps we have to carry them, get them up to get on the hay ride or we just, the ones in the wheelchair, we just lift up and place them in there. And he, uh, normally he just, we just pick them up, we put them in there and he decided he wanted to walk up, he wanted to get out of his wheelchair and walk up the stairs. So I was like, okay, we'll try it. And it took him about five minutes to get up the stairs. And I was like, okay, that wasn't bad. And then. We got back with the hayride and he wanted to walk down the stairs. And I was like, ah, this is, this is a little risky, but we'll try it. So he went to walk down the stairs and I got on my knees in front of him and I put my hands over his feet to help him walk down the stairs. And it probably took us about 15, 20 minutes to get down those three steps. And then when he got down those three steps, he looked at me and he gave me a hug and I asked him what the hug was for and he told me that was his first time walking down the stairs since his incident since he's been put in a wheelchair. So that right there, that settled me for the whole summer. First two weeks we got to have prom on Thursday night and you just go into the cafeteria and we have a little dance and I got to dance with my campers and other people's campers and you just get to see their excited side and they get super pumped about it because everyone gets all dressed up and the girls try to look cute so we're in the cabins like doing their hair and makeup and so that's a lot of fun just seeing them look all pretty and stuff and then just dancing the night away, it was awesome. My camper Jenny broke the karate board after trying four times and she worked so hard and looked at me and I was like, you can do it one more time and she hit it and she was so excited and just like, oh my gosh, it's been, I did it! And um, like when the range riders figure out all the horse parts on the board for the first time and they're like, I did it, it was just, I did it all by myself and it's like, yeah, good job. It, there's so many moments like the, that that we can take for granted but they, this is the first time for them, and they're just like, this is the best feeling ever. I did it all by myself. You're gonna get what you put into it. If you come into the camp thinking it's another day of work, well, it's gonna be another day of work. But if you choose to make it fun and give that extra energy, you know, you'll get that in return. I look at life a lot different. I catch myself not complaining over the little things that I thought were hard before because I come here every day and I'm like, wow, I don't hear these kids complain at all. And they're out here doing activities when it's 100 degrees and I'm sitting here saying, man, it's a little hot when they're in a, they're in a wheelchair being pushed around and don't get to move around that much. So definitely not complaining. I'm ready to tackle every challenge in life now. It's something that before I never got the experience to learn that. So I definitely have a better positive outlook on life now. I didn't expect to come here and meet all these awesome people that, all these awesome campers that I could really relate to. 
but I did. This has been one of the best summer jobs I've ever had, and it makes me sad that this summer I can't come back and be a camp counselor, but if someone's even thinking about it, I would tell them to go for it, to be willing to learn, and to expect way better things than they ever could imagine.